uh, magandang araw po sa inyo lahat. Ito po ang inyong lingkod ulit. Ay si Freddy in YouTube channel at Filipino sa America Vlog YouTube channel. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, just press the red button below and you will be in and it is all free when you subscribe to my channel, guys. I repeat, it's all free. Now, if you are satisfied with the way I handle this, uh, my commentary, then give me a big likes and make some comment in in the comment section below and uh, tell tell me what's going on with you guys there in the philippines how do you how do you rate the performance of the president of the philippines and its economic uh uh feedback on you because the philippine is now one of the fastest growing economy in asia okay and at the same time if you are going to share this video to your friends and benefactors and in family circle within your barangay, most especially during the Philippines, and here in America, within your communities of Filipino communities here in America, most especially in Los Angeles, California, as well as in Hawaii, okay, the, the, where this, what, that state are mostly, ma many of them are Filipinos. I really uh, shout out to you, all of you because you as Filipino are the top uh, the top uh, remittance of dollar remittances to the Philippines that help the economy grow okay so just uh, just to make sure that uh, uh, you won't forget okay you won't forget uh, supporting my channel now ang aking paksa po ngayong araw nito ay tumaas mabilis ang pag-angat ng inflation rate na mukhang Sa iba ay hindi maganda talaga ito kasi tumataas ang presyo ng bigas. Siguro ngayon mga 65 or 70 70 pesos per kilo na. But the mere fact na economy ay tuma ay gumaganda rin. At ang employment ay uh, employment ay gumaganda at ang unemployment ay bumababa. It means that more people are capable of buying rice. Hindi na kasi hindi naman kasi kailangan maging issue ang rice. Meron tayong other staple food na pwede pampalit. Because, what? Ito, sasabihin ko sa inyo, these are facts that I was gather kasi kailangan, bago ako magkomentari, I need facts to support my claim. Okay? Increase in food prices account for 50% to 70% of inflation in the Philippines and India. Naku, hindi lang tayo kasama ang India. And even here in America. Prices of rice, a regional staple, have soared due to poor harvest. Isn't it? Poor harvest. Hindi nyo pwedeng sabihin na 20 pesos ang isang kilo ng bigas. Ha? Hindi nyo pwede yan. Eh kung gumanda naman ang sweldo nyo, kung gumanda ang economy, kung gumanda ang, ang employment, kung gumanda na kahit saan pwede ka mag-apply ng trabaho, what is 60 or 70 pesos per kilo when you are earning more than enough what you need? Okay? And uh, uh, others are attributed by extreme weather condition. Like katulad ngayon, paano tayo makapagtatanim ng rice under El Nino phenomenon? Ilagay lang nyo sa kaisipan nyo dito sa sentido kumor nyo. Kumor. Na bakit? Huh? Bakit tumataas ang presyo ng bigas? Okay? What is the reason of rice inflation in the Philippines? Rice inflation uh, has climbed in recent months in recent months due to a uh, price increase on the global market not there only in the Philippines maski na dito sa America ay tumataas ang presyo ng bigas at ang mga input na tanggap ko sa mga ating mga overseas Filipino workers in different parts of the world tumataas din daw ang presyo ng rice sa kanila so you have an option to buy uh, to uh, to, to replace rice like uh, bread like uh, corn like potato na mas masarap mas masustansya compared to rice kaya lang like, syempre nasanay tayo sa rice uh, there are times that we need to uh, skip uh, rice as our staple food medyo haluan natin hindi naman entirely that you are going to mix like today I'm going to have rice tomorrow corn. Huh? The following day, I'll buy uh, potato. Uh, sweet potato is good. 
have. That is the one of the most nutritious food. Ano ba yung sweet potato? Yung kamote. Napakasarap niyan. Napakasarap at napakasustansya. Okay? The statistic agency uh, said base effect were pushing up price prices. Noting that the prices were relatively low in the first seven months of 2023. That was the last year. Yan. Yan ang ano. Kaya ka... Kaya kailangan uh, medyo mag, ano tayo no kung mataas masyadong bigas ang price ng rice then we could uh, go to corn or bread uh, whichever is lower maging practical tayo wag nating gawing issue in fact the fact that the economy of the Philippines is growing strong under the leadership of President Bongbong Marcos Sr wag po tayong maniniwala sa mga pro China na naninira sa ating ating presidente. Okay? Yung ang mga yan, hindi makakalaban sa akin ng, ng English debate eh. Ginagawa, katulad to si Maharlika. Maharlika, okay? Okay. Ano ba ang nakaka-apekto? Bakit tumataas ang price prices in the Philippines? Climate change. El Nino Pinomino. Eto, rice tarification law na ginawa ni Senator, sponsor by Senator Cynthia Villar. It's not working for the economy right now, most especially in rice production. So we need to amend that law, rice tarification law. Okay? Uh, one of the Senate or one of the congressmen or Congress there in the Philippines, you need to uh, pass or you need to suggest or you need to submit a bill amending the rice tarification law or completely remove it from as a law. Right? Because it, it, it doesn't help the economy of the Philippines. Why? Why we need to retain that law. Huh? Naka, hindi nagiging, mas, nagiging masama. Kasi alam mo kung bakit rice tarification law, eh, puro important na po makapasok. Now, worldwide, nakakahirap kayo sa rice. Huh? Pwede tayo maka-import. Why not? But the problem is, it is of high prices. And because ang ating mga farmers ay cannot meet the strong demand there in the Philippines, What happened? It affects the inflation. The inflation of the country. Okay, the inflation rate. Nakakapekto. Although mataas ang economy natin and one of the strongest economy in the world right now. Huh? When it comes to economy, tayo isa sa pinakamalakas na, na ekonom ekonomiya ng buong mundo sa buong mundo. Okay? And supply and demand dynamics. Of course, pag may su ang supply ay kaunti and demand ang mataas, Ano mangyayari sa presyo? Tataas yan. Ha? Pero makita mo, yung ibang presyo dyan ng mga vegetable, minsan tinatambak na lang dyan eh. We are over production. But when it comes to rice production, hindi po tayo makamit. Okay? Bakit po? Ha? Marami pong bagay yan. At babanggit ko rin po yan. At market power. Yung market power, yan ang importante. Importante yan. At ang competition. Uh, competition, tano na tayo because we are one of the top importer of rice in the world. Uh, malakas tayong kumain ng rice eh. Uh, yung iba, nung ako yun sa Pilipinas, kakain ka ng rice eh, ay parang yung bang saging, ang haba, ang kakain ay isang tao lang. Tapos ang ulam ganyan lang. Ay sus, ano ba yan? Uh, hindi pong maganda yon At yan ay nag-start nag uh, magiging source of heart attack or heart problem or heart disease. At ayan uh, ang isa sa pinaka uh, nagiging dahilan po rin yan ng ano, obesity. Obesity when you come to uh, rice. Because rice is composed mostly of carbohydrates. Kung ikaw ay athlete, okay, that's good. Rice is good. But when you are not an athlete and you're an idol, man or woman, kailangan ka piraso lang. Pero mahirap eh. Ginugutom ako, sinusubukan ko. Ang ginagawa ko, ina-alternate ko yan. Either, either bread or whatever na i-alternate ko. Okay? Ang um, climate change impact crop yields. Climate change, katulad ngayon, El Nino. El Nino, yan. Ha? And seasonal planting and harvest. Seasonal. Kasi sa isang katulad dyan sa ating sa Pilipinas, dyan sa Nueva Ecija, they could only plant two crops only. Two crops a year. Ang suggest ni ating Presidente Bongbong Marcos Jr., mo, watch out, uh, shout out to all uh, uh, people there in Basilan. Huh? 
you can plant rice in your area as long as there is a irrigation system kasi hindi kayo binad, dinadaanan ng bagyo. Uh, yan ang natuklasan ng ating presidente and uh, I hope that you will cooperate and you will be an exporter of rice to Luzon. Uh, kasi ang Luzon ay daanan ng bagyo at uh, hindi also hindi Bisaya. Magiging food basket of the world of the Philippines kayo. Kayo mga taga Basilan there in some in uh, near Sambuanga and Sulu. Okay? Hindi ko lang pwedeng alam kung ang Sulu ay pwedeng rin maging food basket. Ah uh, hindi na kailangan we, we don't need to import rice. Why we need to import rice from other countries like Thailand and Vietnam where we can have this rice uh, production there in uh, Mindanao. Uh, to make uh, Mindanao uh, a source of food security, source of food security there in Manila, in Mindanao, okay? So importante ho 'yan. Okay? Okay. Ah uh, bak uh, uh, bago kito lang, no? Uh, wag niyo kalibutan na mag-subscribe sa akin channel at Filipino sa America Vlog YouTube. Just press the red button below and you will be connected to my channel. Okay? Thank you very much and I really appreciate because we are growing on a daily basis. I'm I'm really proud and I thank you all all you all my supporters and viewers. Uh, almost uh, six more than 600,000 na tayo na viewers and ang aking uh, channel ay meron ng Uh, malapit na ako sa 12,000 na ako naman ay tuwan-tuwa sa nangyayari, okay? Uh, and all, also, you, if you could share this video so much the better. Okay, let's go. Let's go back. Ang um, climate change ay nakaka sa ating mga crab yields. Okay? At ang ngayon, kung nagtatanim ka ng rice, we don't need uh, too many people to harvest. Harvest. With the use of mechanized mechanization uh, in rice in palay planting meron tayong mga harvester uh, right harvester and planting katulad ng ginagawa sa Japan and katulad here in America at the same time we need also to consult a uh, an engineer to test the quality of your of your uh, soil there okay kailangan ma-test yung soil uh, kasi ang pinakamagandang soil is clay Clay. Ano ba yung clay in Tagalog? Uh, ano ba yung clay? Ano ba yung tawag doon? Ginagawang paso. Ah, yun. Ang kailangan yung kasi, pag ganyan, may clay ang, ang pang ilalim. Pag umulan, nagtatagal ang tubig, hindi bumababa. Iyan ang sisilipin nyo. Kung ang inyong lupa na pagtataniman ng palay is made of clay, ay magandang uh, senyales that you will have a good harvest. Because, hindi tako, ano yan, hindi tako tubig. Ha? Makikita nyo, iba, yung ibang mga palay, yung mga, mga, mga taniman ng palay. May tubig, hindi bumababa. Because it is made of clay. Yan, importante. Maski dito sa Amerika, ay tinitingnan yan. Kaya we need to consult uh, engineer for this purpose. Ha? Hindi naman masyado. Uh, we could also uh, ask the Department of Agriculture because I know they have also uh, an engineer for this purpose to test on the soil whether what what crops is needed at kung ano mga requirements uh, with the help of the Department of Agriculture. Kaya, President Marcos, kailangan tingnan po nyo ang ating Department of Agriculture. If we need to hire more engineers to address the problem, that is one thing that you should know. Okay? Hire more engineers. Uh, they're in the in Department of Agriculture, okay? Licensed engineer, okay? To make a scientific study of all the soils intended for rice plantation, for rice cropping, they're in the Philippines, okay? Okay. Ngayon, ang, ang, maging, uh, ano yan, ang kapalit niyan ay uh, we will have a good yield, yield and seasonal planting and harvest, which in turn affect rice supply and prices. It's the supply of demand. Law of supply and demand ang magtatakda ng presyo ng bilihin dyan. Okay? You'd, kasi kailangan naman natin suportahan ating mga rice farmer. Kasi tumataas din yung pest. Yung pest, yung bibili sila ng mga pest, uh, pest product. Uh, at yung mga fertilizers. Uh, how can we make? And we could have also uh, put up a uh, fertilizer 
uh, production dyan sa ating bansa, dyan, most especially there in Mindanao. Ang nakikita natin ay yung Mindanao is the one best source. Kasi ngayon, ang, ang, ang pala ay nanggagaling sa Nueva Ecija and Mindoro as well as in Bicol, Bicol region. Kasi malapit sa bundok, malapit sa volcano, ha? malapit sa mga katuloy ng mayong volcano, at ayan sa Batangas, maganda ho yan. Maganda ho pagtaniman ng palay. Diyan sa Batangas, Bicol, Mindoro, uh, Panay Island, Panay Island ho yan. Kasi ang ilalim niyan ay clay at may siya. May siya, maganda rin ho yan. Kaya kailangan natin ang ang Department of Agriculture ang mangunguna dito. Okay? Okay. Ang rice tarification, we need, all congressmen need to Uh, amend the amend it, this law huh? is either to amend or replace this law it because it does not address the the problem of uh, producing more uh, rice okay and at the same time ang um, isa pa nating ano is you, you should file a bill to protect all those uh, 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 rice field against yung ginagawang mga subdivision or whatever we should like like here in America they are already they are also being protected hindi ka makikita na yung isang sakahan ay gagawing uh, mall hindi po hindi po kasi importante rin yung security security food security and we need to protect this one okay at isa pa ay yung uh, 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 organization o cooperative. Big cooperative. Kung ikaw ay magtatanim ng rice o palay and your field is only about 1 hectare or 2 hectares, I don't know you will grow. But if you have 100 hectares or 1,000 hectares, uh, it will surely uh, be, give you a good result. Okay? Okay. Kailangan marami yung mga inputs, marami kayo, tsaka continuous ang inyong mga education and training headed by the Department of Agriculture. That is that is the number one uh, job or function of the Department of Agriculture. Katulad ng IRI. IRI should be active in 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 the in the improving the rice production. Nandi dyan ang IRI dyan sa Calamba, Laguna at the UP Luis Baños, but in fact they were they failed to address our problem. Isipin mo nakakaya yan. Ang IRI nandiyan tapos tayo ang number one Uh, rice importer. Di ba nakakaya yan? Yan. Tsaka pa, isa pa. Decreasing number of Filipino engaged in agriculture. Okay, we have agricultural agricultural engineering. Agriculture engineering, all those agricultural engineering, they should be given a top priority by the administration of Bongbong Marcos Jr. Bigyan natin sila ng magandang uh, ng incentives to be an engineer in agriculture. Okay? Uh, hindi naman po kita... Uh, uh, kasi ang nangyayari sa Pilipinas ay puro white collar ang gustong trabaho. Uh, alam mo, hindi naman dito sa Amerika, hindi naman ganun eh. Ang mga, in fact, ang mga farmers dito is one of the richest uh, 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 career here in America. Here in America, yan. Career. Okay, kung siyempre, kung ikaw ay... Hindi nag-aral. Ang tendency mo is just to be a simple farmer. But, if you study agriculture engineering or agriculture, uh, you could be a top person in nation building, in nation uh, supporting uh, the crop production, more especially rice. Okay? Again, okay, thank you very much. And I do hope that I, will, I was able to share some of this important input that you need, more especially Uh, uh, all those students in farming, uh, in agriculture, as well as the young generation, I'm calling you the young generation, to stand, uh, to go far with other Asian countries or other world, uh, uh, world uh, in engaged in uh, rice planting. Your host, pretty, in God we trust, never hold your peace. I'll see you in my next vlog.